Canadian soldiers have been fighting side by side with Americans for a century. That relationship was honored this weekend when Canadian cadets hosted some special American visitors. Brendan Miller reports. Since the First World War, Canadian and American soldiers have fought and died side by side. Those sacrifices are being honored at this heart ceremony that stands for honoring allies and remembering together. Our aim is to teach our youth that they must remember the sacrifices that have been made for their way of life and the freedoms that they enjoy today. More than 60 American cadets were here along with more than 80 Canadians paying their respect to soldiers killed in the past. I know that um, Canada has a huge part in American history and they've been there for us in many wars and get so little credit for it. So it's nice to be here and remember all their heroes and our heroes together. It's just such a great opportunity to, to remember those people that, that have come before us and have given so much for both of our countries. Um, you know, we, we work so closely together, we're so, I, I'd say our cultures are a lot alike in a lot of ways. We are so close with Canadians during World War I, World War II, and all these people from Europe came in this country to build up this, this new country, Canada. And uh, I'm proud of uh, these people. In Alberta, the heart ceremony began four years ago at the Coots border. Since then, it's expanded. And now the U.S. Civil Air Patrol cadets spend a weekend bonding with their northern counterparts. These are our leaders of the future. And it's important to uh, uh, keep them uh, involved, keep them uh, trained, keep them uh, interested in the affairs of our respective countries and uh, keeping the strengths and the ties between our two nations alive and well. My heart, I am so proud of cadets on both sides of our border who take this tradition and this learning to heart and respect and they take it with them the rest of their lives. Some of the American cadets traveled 16 hours to get here. It was worth the trip, they say, to grow the bond between the two countries. Brendan Miller, CTV News, Lethbridge. Similar ceremonies were held this weekend at the New Brunswick and Maine and Windsor and Detroit border crossings.